Now, this hit man right here, played by Rupert Friend, this guy, say, <laughs> I know, I know yeah. ain't that some British shit right there? <laughs> that is, man. Rupert Friend. Rupert, yeah. <laughs> Hello. Which Harry Potter movie was he in? <laughs> <laughs> I think he was in all of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the background. And now in this one, Agent 47, played by Rupert Friend, he is out to stop a corporation from making more movies, now, <laughs> making more people like him. He knows that this is a dangerous thing to be what he is, a, a killer with no emotion, no remorse, can't even feel any love. But to stop this corporation, he has one target. And this target is this girl, a young woman named Kat, Katina, whatever, fuck it, nobody really cares anyway. <laughs> but he has to stop her. The secret that she has, do you have to actually protect her in this secret and stop somebody else from getting her? Or does that mean that she's your next target to terminate yourself? It commits the crime. Yeah. That no action film should ever commit, uh, which is be mediocre, be kind of boring. Yeah. Look, you can be middle one, of the road. Middle of the road. Look, you can be a great action film and people coming out. Oh, that was the most awesome thing I've ever seen. Or you can be Taken Three. Taken oh, man, Three. Come on now. Ooh, you no. know how I feel about this. I know shit. how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, what, what, Tommy? Tell me how you feel. What? What is it? It's some bullshit. Tommy, is that? Passion I see right there. Yes. Yes. Oh, it is. It's is that, fire. Is that emotion that it I is. feel? See, say what you will, Tommy, oh, about man. Taken 3. Yeah. But Taken 3, we walked out. Get we couldn't wait pressure. to talk about this shit. Oh, yeah. We are hyped to talk about that shit. Yeah. Bullshit is good if it's passionate bullshit. Yeah. You know, I mean, even Fantastic Four is some fabulous bullshit because True. people yeah. can't even rem remember the movie anymore. They can talk shit about it. Exactly. The, the thing about a movie where it's mediocre is really upsetting to see where they pull all these elements from other films and this one the beginning of the movie opens up with a terminator type theme it's yeah. two agents like zachary quinto plays another agent and they're going after the same target they really are doing a terminator thing it's agent against agent terminator against terminator it's exactly terminator actually but it's the most watered down fucking <laughs> yeah. terminator you could ever have really the blandest vaguest terminator wow really? ever yeah ever I know you don't have any reason to trust me, but look at him. Look at how he moves. Look at the shadows under his coat. Look at his eyes and tell me that I'm lying. <laughs> <Look at his> <laughs> Those motherfuckers turned it into the cartoons. They, they Straight up. <laughs> yeah. They turned a video game character. Yeah. <laughs> that was like watching the second Matrix movie. And, and when they landed, they looked like they came straight out the fucking PS1 Hitman. <laughs> They put the sound effect. Oh, 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 and it's funny, too, because talking about the Terminator theme, Martin, uh -huh. it's like Rupert Friend really is a Terminator. He's like the T-1000, right. but instead of like absorbing people, he just absorbs other people's <laughs> uniforms. Like He just tackles somebody, and then he comes out, and he's wearing their suit. <laughs> <laughs> there was no reason for it. He was already in a costume. I know, he was say. good. Yeah, He could have just put the guy to sleep and walked away. Like, I like, like nah. that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's what size are those? Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's a nice bike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for a movie like this, what they yeah. do is, in order to let you know that, oh, but wait, we're different, they do that whole thing of having that one minute of, of, of exposition while driving a car. Oh. You know, don't you hate when you notice in movies where they drive a car yeah. just so they can tell you what the plot is? They, hit, they do that. They hit every beat of just a generic action movie. Like, oh, action, action, action. We got to talk. The man you're looking for, his name is Peter Aaron Litvenko. Who is he? Your father. I don't know much, only that he's a geneticist, an expert in human biogenetics, who spearheaded a program of experimentation. Oh. <laughs> you get it now? Spearhead genetics. I don't know anything, but I can tell you exactly what he yeah. does. <laughs> yeah, you know, and it's, even Zachary Quinto's like, I can't believe y'all got me saying this shit. You notice those pauses he's taking in between, like, how they gonna make me do this? Y'all right. really yeah, making I mean. me say this shit. He's like, shit, when's the next Star Trek movie coming out? You know what? I got Fox figured out. We see this shit a lot. Mm -hmm. These middle of the road action movies with a lot of foreign people in them. The director you usually never heard of. He's usually foreign, like usually from Russia. Mm -hmm. Sure. They do this shit over and over again. We saw in like one of the transporter movies. Yeah. The Taken yeah. movie. Yeah. Over and over. We see uh, the last, that Die Hard movie, the really shitty one. Yeah. Yeah. 
Same shit. It's always the same type of fucking movie. And they never go one way or the other. They're never so no. bad that you have fun with it. And they're never good enough to be like, well, this is with some good shit. And the frustrating thing about this is that anybody who's ever played the game, I can tell you right now, I have not. I played it. So, Tommy, some elements of the story here, yeah. they are at play here, right? Yeah, I mean, spot, they, at first, they're pretty spot on. Like, it's always that woman's voice. That might have actually been the actual woman from the game. Oh, like from the agency yeah, or the yeah, syndicate that he works calls for? calls you, tells you, you know, what person to kill and shit, and you go on your mission, and you, yeah, you knock people out and take the costumes and shit. Like, that's part of the game, too. It started off kind of true to the game, but then it just faded into that same mediocre shit that we've seen before. And, and see, that's what's frustrating to me, because I don't play the games, but I've seen people play it, I watch yeah. playthroughs, and, I, and there are elements in here that work. I'm not going to completely shit on this movie, because... They do. They try. They make an honest try at bringing some gameplay elements into the movie where, just like a lot of stealth games, you can either just go in guns blazing or you can be stealthy and take people out creatively. And here, that's what he does. Like, there's a there's a set piece where they're in a factory and he's at one point going in taking people out and there's another point where he's just using the environment at his disposal. Like, right here, like, shit, fuck! You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all are fucked. <laughs> and it never feels like Remember this from the game? You know, it doesn't feel no, like that a lot of times. It flows when it does shit like that. But when it does shit like that. Yeah, <laughs> but that's few and far between. Yeah, and it could be better if your leads were a little bit better. This is the most <laughs> fucking non-emoting, non-personality-having fucking film I've seen. You mean if they gave a shit? This guy, Rupert Friend, look, it's his job to not have emotion. Right. It's his job to look blank. Because he, you know, he, he's he's a stone cold killer who's yeah. manufactured to not have those things. Right. This chick right here, what's her name? Hannah, the actress's name is Hannah Ware. Your job, <laughs> your fucking job was to actually be the opposite of Agent 47. Right. You were the one who was supposed to be relatable. Yeah. You were supposed have to be the, life. the be counter spunky. to that. Yeah. This chick, look at the, the, that expression right there. That's the fucking film. That's it. That's you right. could you could cut you could make a cardboard cut out of that shit and put on a stick and just walk that shit around the movie, man. <laughs> she she goes through the whole movie looking like she forgot something. You know, yeah. should I leave the oven on at home? You know, like <laughs> smile, do something. Something. And it's funny towards the end of the movie, she gets like a little bit of life, like an inkling of life, where she you know cracks a joke here, you know does some cool shit, and you know like she just came into the realization. Yeah. That, oh, wow, I got this ultimate power. I'm a superhero. I'm a basically. superhero, basically. Yeah. She's like, oh, wow, I got this power. Who gives a fuck? You know, yeah. it's like, wow, man, really? Yeah, that's you, pretty much how we You know, like, kind of like, fuck you, you know? Yeah, you can't really appreciate was. this shit. Don't try to make me emotional because of some back fucking story right here. Yeah, it's one of those manipulative little subplots that, you know, is supposed to just get you automatically. Like, they throw cancer in it and shit. It's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, man. Exactly. No <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> shit. That's what even this good little girl's like, am I going to grow up to have any emotion at all? <laughs> what makes it even worse that it's bland is because this is not just action, Tommy. No. This is action sci-fi. This is a dude yeah. that's been, he's been grown to be an assassin. He ain't even human. Right. And, you know, got fucking that, that, uh, barcode. that barcode in the yeah. back of his head and shit. This should be over the top. Sure. It should be. This be is like some kick-ass uh, Kingsman type shit. Kingsman. There you go. Be like Kingsman. Kingsman. And, you know, since this was so slick, to me it had the look of Resident Evil. It's that's not what you want to strive to be. But <laughs> this movie is Resident Evil yeah. if you took all the dumb shit out of it. I ain't never appreciated dumb shit as more <laughs> as I did last night when I watched this movie. I will give you that. That is yeah. the thing about Resident Evil. <laughs> it Thank might you. not be good, but you you don't forget it. I might remember this for longer than yeah. a couple days. Yeah. It's like an entertaining distraction, baby. Yeah. 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 Okay. Now, take, now, take Resident Evil. Put a dick on Mila Jovovich or whatever her name is. Take, Jovovich. To Jovovich, whatever. Take, take all the monsters and crazy shit out. You got this. Because oh, you know if you... Well, that sounds terrible. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you, you took like the few good things that they had going for That's it. pretty <laughs> accurate, actually. Yeah, because yeah. it's got that slick look to it. It does. You know what it looked like it tried to do early on? What's It'd that? It'd be like John Wick. <gasps> Did you yeah. not catch that? The opening scene? Yeah, you know what? That was some straight up John Wick shit. And I'm you like, okay, is this what we're getting now? But it is not. What we wow, getting man, now. people, just go see John Wick. Yeah. And this director right here, I forgot his, what his name is. His last name is Bach. 
nowhere near as talented as the original Bakamoto. <laughs> but <laughs> this is a guy who just concentrated on action, not so much on the characters, not so much on the property that he has. It is the action so much that he's going back and doing old 90s shit like John Woo, that Jesus Christ yeah. pose and shit. Oh, yeah. You know, he, when he comes out, you know, then you just wait for the doves to fly out now. Uh-huh. You know, that Jesus pose with the two guns and two hands yeah. and shit. Yeah. Operatic he, music. Yeah. 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 You, it's impossible to aim two guns at the same time. Not no, oh, not, not, <laughs> not for Agent 47, oh, Mark. No. <laughs> he was built for that shit. Yeah, you should see what he does here. Like. <laughs> <laughs> With two guns. And for a moment, they did some Tarantino shit where they playing like surf rock. Yes, and was, I thought I was the only one that noticed that shit. No, man. I was like, <laughs> I was like where the fuck did this come from? <laughs> 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 I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? I was like, what the fuck? And they're walking together, you know, guns in hand. Like, <laughs> 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 I don't know what surf music you listen to. <laughs> 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 Some cantina music. That's a, a porky pig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's some clown music. <laughs> 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 Wait a second. What? It all sounds the same to me. <laughs> 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 I was like, what's the WB for? <laughs> I was like, are you, are you surfing with clowns? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I had once before. <laughs> God, no, no. But but I get yeah, what you're saying, yeah, it's, man. It's, it's very out of place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 a guy who loves action so much that you get the feeling that he's pulling from his heroes like Tarantino yeah. and John Woo and It sounds like like he never really had a voice all his own. He had this property, he thought he'd make an action movie, and he picked it picked up pieces from a bunch of different action movies he's seen, but it's not it doesn't all work together. It's not integrated. Ooh, we are Nearing the end of August, man. Oh, That's yeah. when studios back that bull, that back that truck up <laughs> and just dump movies, man. August and January. August and yeah. And this is that movie, man. And you can even hear the studio saying, "Well, let's just get this shit over with." Yeah. <laughs> you know. It's, <laughs> it's, hey, good luck, Bach. Uh, it turns out we're not going straight to video. We're gonna release your movie to theater. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! Don't do that, please. <laughs> Even the press junkets that these guys go on. When I was looking up stuff, they you could see them like uh, on morning shows where they're talking about this, and they just they really they don't give a fuck. They had this crazy thing man. in Singapore. <laughs> they really don't care. They talking the about everything but the Singapore movie too. Before this movie, we were the first people to ever really? do it. Yeah, except wow. the police. Yeah, yeah. And after each shot. A policeman or 16 policemen have... You don't give a fuck. They got this chick. <laughs> <laughs> these press junkets are so sad. I mean, I mean, not just these, all of them. She's straining to keep that interest on her face yeah, right now. It's uh-huh. so much false interest. <laughs> <laughs> She's she breaking like... a sweat. Pick up the, the uh, ejected shell. Every shell. Every and single sure one. Every single and if one they don't find everyone, yeah, then you have to stop. I mean, there was so one day we were in this alley and, and they just couldn't <laughs> find it. They don't give a fuck. He's drunk. He looks... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that cup got fucking gin in it right now, man. Yeah, you, hey, you know you have to see this again here in like, what, next month? The transporter refueled? It's going to be the exact same shit, I, I guarantee you. I look forward to that more than, okay. I, look, than I look forward to this. <laughs> I look forward to none of these. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these 20th Century like, Fox why? CG action movies, <laughs> I can't fucking stand them. I think they're my new... Like Friedberg and Seltzer movies. Damn. I hate these fucking things. They just keep getting like more and more mediocre, which, like Corey said, really is the worst thing. Like, do something. Be either really fucking bad or really fucking good. So, what would you give this then? Man, this is bullshit. (laughs) (laughs) Bullshit, man. Damn, dude. You don't want a moment to think about it? Not a goddamn. If I think about it, I might give it a fuck you. Tommy, you're going to be mad at me. Because I have seen worse, and I'm giving this, like I said, man, I'm not going to shit on this movie because I do see places where it tried. Right. Like, for more than the average video game movie, Especially for this being a video game movie, it tried, man. Yeah. It in and there are moments where the action is okay. It actually deteriorates the more the movie goes along. So, That's you know, some, some of that looks kind of cool. Because <laughs> we didn't pay and had to see yeah. another two hours of it. Right. Okay, yeah. So you give it a rental. I give it a low rental. Okay, yeah. what? A rental and a some old bullshit. Yeah, I'm okay with his rental though. With a low rental and a some old bullshit, yeah. I think that still makes it the. Highest rated video game movie so yeah. far. It oh, is yeah. better than the original Hitman, but that's just because I can't remember the original Hitman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, the, the, the struggle continues <laughs> for that one 20 years, <laughs> even more. Let's play some Tetris, motherfucker. When did the 
last what, what, Mortal, Mortal Kombat, Kombat 95. 95. 20 years been waiting for this and shit. And we just gave that shit to being I, I, a good yeah, I was gonna uh, say, video game I was going to say, it was, it was a, a flat zero to y'all just finally just yeah. kind of gave in. To like, we, we gave right, up. You know what? Let's go ahead and say that one was good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at least so we, one. That's exactly yeah. what <laughs> It's almost like, the, like Mortal Kombat was the Special Olympics of video games. <laughs> <It's just laughs> like, I, I literally saw an article today. Was the old 95 Mortal Kombat really that bad? <laughs> I'm like, really? damn, man. Compared to what we've yeah. gotten in the past 20 years, yeah. it's, it's a it's fucking true. masterpiece. It is. Godfather. Mortal, Mortal Kombat 1995, cross the finish line, see? <laughs> <laughs> and we gave it a medal for trying. <laughs> hey, at least it's finished.